I know it may look strange. Hello, I'm Mirta, your official tour guide in Rome and the Vatican. Today I'm going to take you all around the city, but with an unusual point of view. Let's go! Living in Rome in the 16th century wasn't easy. People were unsatisfied by the current administration and started to attach anonymous notes and verses to the base of certain statues. With these notes, they criticized the papal government and other authorities, which was basically forbidden. This tradition became very popular and the statues started to constantly talk on people's behalf. Over the years, to each of the statues was assigned a name and people considered them with their own personality. So after this short introduction, let's go to discover the six talking statues of Rome. The first and most popular among the six talking statues of Rome. This is Pasquino. I'm Olga Prov of Stone from Piazza Navona and this is where the statue called Pasquino comes from. It originally decorated the Stadium of Domitian. It dates back to the 3rd century BC and that means this is not a Roman sculpture but a Greek one. It remained buried for centuries until 1501 and discovered during some renovation work. Quickly the Romans started to attach anonymous notes to the statue to show their political dissent through satirical poem and these verses come to be known as Pasquinate or Pasquinade. For centuries Pasquino was the medium for Roman people to show their dissent to the administration. Obviously, the papal government condemned this practice, but couldn't stop it. Despite Pasquino was held guarded day and night, the satirical comment never stopped, and quickly more statues was used with the same purpose. Abad Luigi was Pasquino's closest friend. Originally, the statue was probably representing a magistrate as he's wearing a toga, and according to the position, he's ready to give a speech. Its head was endomaged several times and finally stolen. In the 1930s, it was placed on a base with an inscription, written as if the statue itself is talking. I was a citizen of the ancient Rome, now all call me Abate Luigi. Along with Marforian Pasquino, I conquered eternal fame for urban satire. I received offenses, disgrace and burial, till here I found new life and finally safety. Well, the Abbot Luigi told us he conquered eternal fame with Marforio and Pasquino. We actually know Pasquino very well, but who is Marforio? And Marforio is another well-known talking statue, of course. It's a colossal marble statue, originally placed at the bottom of the Capitoline Hill. It represents a creature related to water, such as a triton or a personification of a river. Nowadays, it is located inside the Capitoline Museum in the courtyard of Palazzo Nuovo. The six talking statues are all located in the city centre of Rome, but in secluded places, mostly unnoticed by people. Madame Lucrezia is a huge fragment of a feminine statue. It originally represented the Egyptian goddess Isis or one of her priestesses. In the 16th century, this fragment was placed here and quickly joined the group of talking statues. The baboon isn't properly a baboon, but the set of a satyr, a character of the Roman mythology, half man, half goat. But in this statue, it is so ugly and deformed, so that the Romans started to call it the baboon for looking like a monkey. It actually decorates a fountain on the external wall of a church in Via del Babuino, the street named after it. A 
Until now, we've only seen sculptures made in antiquities, which later, for different reasons, started to talk. But even a sculpture made in 1580s is one of the six talking statues. It represents an acquarolo, which in Roman dialect means the man selling water. In 15 and 1600s, collecting the water from the Tiber to sell it to people was a very active profession. The Acquaroli Association commissioned this fountain with the sculpture of a man pulling water from his barrel to Jacopo del Conte. It is endomated because Catholic thought it rescind to Martin Luther, mostly for its head, and was used to throw some stone to it. Click on the link below to follow me on the main social network to watch more related videos and to read my blog RomeSweetRomeGuide.com. You can also book a tour in Rome on RomeIsWow.com and don't forget to subscribe the channel.